All right, so the next job is having us hack into UC Berkeley, and we're going to try and restore an old file that's on their old tape backup system. And the way that the system is kind of set up is a little annoying, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So Execution Agent A is going to be in charge of telling B where in the system we're going to find the, the file, the entry we're looking for and then copying the data we want into the local file that we're saving into our machine. B is the one that's actually going to be going into the system and finding the information that we're looking for. So the first thing that A is going to do is they're going to grab 300 and we need to get to tape three. Uh, so there's tape one, tape two, tape three. Uh, a is going to tell B, you need to go to tape three or tape one. It's, it'll change between each of the test cases. B is going to go off then and keep searching until it finds tape three right there. Once it finds tape three, it's going to move into the next step. It is going to figure out, okay, what entry do you want me to find? It is this Russian, I'm assuming that's Russian, uh, character and it's like okay this is what I am looking for a is now done with file 300 it's gonna drop it and create a new blank file in order to try and start transcribing B is gonna pick up file 2 file 200 and is now going to look for this Russian uh, this this Russian entry that we're looking for uh, and the way that the the data is stored inside the file system here is once you find the name of your entry the next value is uh from the start of the file how many positions in do you have to go so 55 positions in would be the beginning of this record and then 18 is the size so that once you go 55 in the next 18 comprise this russian record so uh what's going to happen is B is going to read through the whole thing looking for the Russian record that it's got currently saved in X. To try and skip uh, through this, you can actually hold Alt and click on a line and it will fast forward and stop on that line. So he, I could just sit there and hold and wait for him to search everything or I can hit Alt and this copy FT. This will be hit for the first time once we exit this loop two here. And here's an example of me using loop one, loop two because I'm a degenerate. So I'm going to hit Alt, hit click on this, and it's going to skip ahead. It's going to read all the way through until we have found the Russian record. Now we're going to copy the two values we need, the position and the size. We're going to copy the position into T and the size into X. We now have 18 and 55. We're going to seek to the beginning of our file again. And now we're going to seek T so that we get to the position we're looking for. And then I'm going to copy uh, the size entity. This is me using that shortcut again of how many times do I want to loop through something and putting it into the T register. I want to loop through it 18 times. So that's what we do. Now what's going to happen is B is going to copy the, the value in file F into the global register. A is going to write that down. And then we're going to subtract one from T so that we end up looping through a total of 18 times. A in the meantime is doing a check. Every time it gets a value in from B, it is copying that value into its T register and checking to see if it's zero. Because remember, if we get a zero, that means T is false. If we get anything else, then T is true. So we're checking if the value we get is zero or not. Uh, and it's never going to be zero, or at least it shouldn't be zero uh, because this is all the zeros here are all buffers we should be getting non-zero for the actual data so once xb is finished reading through everything which it is now its last instruction before it self terminates is copy a zero into the m record to tell execution agent a okay i'm done and a is going to see okay i've got false in my t register a false jump is going to jump me right to the end and since there's no instructions after that a is done and there you go. Uh, and remember, this this job, the, the tape can be different each time. The position of the record that we're looking for can be different each time. Uh, but you can tell this is going to take a while to, uh, to run through all of the cases. But here, we're in tape two. So we'll fast forward that. Going between uh, tapes one, two, and three. And there we go. 
Uh, I, I'm in the upper part of the cycles this time, but that's all right. I'm, I'm fine with it. 